I don't like to talk about my past or whatever. I fight every day with addiction. Uh, every day. Uh, I've been addicted to prescription drugs from the age of one till I was 18. And then street drugs from 18 till a little while ago. That being said, I haven't lost sight of this. And this is what the hive has brought back to me. Giving me a place to come. Giving me a place to do what I love to do. Um, I'm happy. And uh, it can only get better. I have gone through a little bit of a hard time, ended up on the street outside here in Campbell River and somebody had told me that there was a project going on towards the gallery here and um, that it was uh, a place to come and do artwork. Being an artist all my life and running into hard times and realizing that I had no place to do artwork. Pretty hard to do artwork when you're living on top of your scooter. The hive came from this need that we saw in the community, particularly in the community of our unhoused folks and our folks with lived experience. It's a space where they can come just as they are, completely barrier free, and they'll be encouraged and supported and uplifted. And it's just a positive and nurturing space for, for healing and for community. Well, it helps me clear my mind and it helps me express myself. Uh, gets me off the street. Um, brings us all together, sense of community, somewhere to go, somewhere to be. And it helps get you out of there. When you're living out there, it becomes a struggle. I was away from art for, yeah, a number of years, and I, uh, but once they started, I said, I jumped on board, and uh, the partner I lost asked me to keep on with art, so. If she never encouraged me to be here to do this, uh, I have no idea where I'd be. Uh, yeah, I would have been lost. So. It's like having another family. I, I have no. I have one brother left out of my whole blood family, but I just gained a whole new sense of family by people that I can trust. And especially looking into some of the eyes and they're, they're listening to you. You know, some people want to thrive for that all their lives and never get it. I get it almost every day just by learning to love myself and learning that I have worth, you know, that it, I do matter. There's people that will actually genuinely open their hearts to you, um, you know. Um, show you that you have worth. That's pretty tough to find anywhere nowadays. All the orange t-shirts. No, they're all printed. They're all printed. We're, they're just, all printed. we're saving the red shirt. Uh, the hive is a safe space. Uh, some people call me boss, but I'm not a boss. I'm the friend of, of these folks. Um, I run the, the art hive for now. My big hope and is, is they're gonna run it themselves. By bringing this medium into the hive, what it creates is basically a little um, business model for them to take on and to have their art because many of them are amazing artists. It's sold at the gallery, but also in different, you know, farmers market here in Campbell River and. I learn as much as I give them training for screen printing. I learn a lot from them and I definitely create friendships. I wish I could have got this when I was younger because I'd probably be way further ahead. But I'll tell you, the gift that this place has given me as an artist, but also as knowing that I've been seen that people actually see me, they actually listen. How wonderful it was that I felt safe to cry in front of them and laugh and tell them when I was feeling down 
and not being laughed at for being down, pretty cool. So, I'm blessed, and I thank the hive for what they've given me a chance to do. Expression is hard. Some people never can express themselves, but you'll find that if and when you do, it's like a new beginning. Makes it all worthwhile to be here. The benefit for me is to, first of all, is to make a step into reconciliation. Uh, something that I found really important. Uh, I don't want to wait for the government to tell me what to do. I have to do it myself. That's magic. It's, yeah, the greatest honor of my life is to be able to have that program going at the art gallery. It's, they're my family. I love them. They love us back. And it's just the most beautiful community. Yeah.